Welcome to Digital Asset News, taking top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and breaking them down in bite-sized pieces. Today, we've got some stories of mass adoption, and they are big. First up, NBA legend Tracy McGrady, or T-Mac, joins Voyager Digital as the key advisor. And if you want to talk about getting the message out, there is nobody better than an NBA legend. And I reached out to Voyager for a comment, and they sent me the CEO, Steve Ehrlich. So I'm going to interview him about what exactly went on, how he was actually able to get T-Mac to join up with Voyager. And while I got him here, I had to put him on the hot seat with a couple of questions from you guys. And also 46 million worth of shorts are liquidated as Bitcoin touches 11.8. Now I know it's a tough day for a trader when you get liquidated, but on the flip side, it is a good day because things are going up. So we'll go over all that, but first let's take a look at what's going on in the market. So today it is October 19th, about 1 p.m. Texas time, and things are looking pretty good. So Bitcoin did retrace a little bit. Now it's around 11.7, but it is up 1.9% for 24 hours and, and uh, 2.6 in seven days or a week. So I'm pretty happy about that. Ethereum is right around 380. That's where I want to see it. I think it can break 400. Just needs a little bit of momentum, but things are going in the right direction for sure. So 1% in 24 hours. And over, over the week, 1.3. I'll take it. Tether's Tether. Nobody cares. XRP. Hey, up 1.5% to a whopping 0.246. Watch out. Bitcoin Cash is up 0.5%. Binance Coin's down a little bit. Chainlink's up a little bit. Everything's down or up a little bit. <laughs> That's really what it happens. Except for Crypto.com. I've got a lot of messages about this, and there is something going on with as far as the rewards program, and things are tanking and not looking good. So they are down 29% over the week and 10% for a 24-hour time frame. So uh, if you're looking at crypto.com, this might not be a great time. Or actually, may, maybe it's an awesome time because it's down so much, but who knows how far it'll fall. Uh, also, Monero is up 4.6%. Stellar up 6.3%, and I can tell you there's a couple of reasons why. First up, uh, they're giving support for the USDC, so it's going to be able to be transferred on the Stellar chain. Also, they're going to be attending the IMF conference, so that's a little bit of a push, so good for them. And up 10% for the week, so Stellar looking pretty good. Uh, what else we have? 2.8, 1.9, any big, huge loser? Whoa, 14.8% for Dash. Congratulations to Dash holders. I did not hold any of that, but uh, I mean, congratulations to you guys for, you know, hitting a massive pump here. 7% for the week and almost 15% for one day. Hey, not too bad. I'll take it. And that's pretty much about it. Oof, Ave still going down 8.6%. I'm looking at Ave. I'm probably going to buy it. I'm just letting everybody know. Uh, I think this is a perfect opportunity and I need to get Stani on the uh, program to exactly talk about what's going on. But if you don't know, we talked about this ad nauseum yesterday. Aave is going to be the new governance token from Lend. So everything that Lend has, uh, it's going to be a 100 to 1 swap. So right now, get your hands on Aave. That's all I'll say. Or that's all I'm going to say to myself. I can't give any financial advice, obviously. Anyhow, that's what's going on in the market. Let's. Uh, so it's a good day. Let's jump into today's top story. So these are the stories that I love to see as far as mass adoption. The only way to get mass adoption out there is just to get it into the public consciousness in any way, shape, or form. And this is a fantastic way to do it. Teaming up with an NBA legend, legend uh, T-Mac or Tracy McGrady. He joins Voyager Digital as key advisor. How the heck did this happen? So let's take a look. So today, Voyager announced that NBA Hall of Famer T-Mac will join Voyager as an advisor, helping to educate investors about the interest available on 17 coins and the ability to invest in the best performing asset of the past 10 years, Bitcoin, as well as 50 other cryptos which are available. Additionally, McGrady and his business partner, Grant Haas, I don't know who that guy is, but apparently it's not about what you know, it's who you know. And Grant Haas, knows Tracy McGrady and probably knows Steve Ehrlich from Voyager. They'll be giving away $2 million, $5 per new account opened under this promotion to introduce the general public to what is the largest number of crypto assets on one platform in the US. Voyager currently highlights 8.5% on USDC. So that's kind of, a, that's not really a great deal, honestly. Uh, five bucks for a new account for Tracy McGrady. I think you would get more. Hey, just looking at myself, uh, I get $25 if you sign up under my affiliate link. That's all I'm going to say. Not that I'm better than Tracy McGrady or a better basketball player. Uh, maybe. No, I'm not. But I will just tell you this. If you go into the description of my videos, there's the exchange and fees wallets. 
and it's uh, just a spreadsheet of what I have. And I've got everything from Coinbase Pro, Crack, and Gemini Abra, Simple Swap, uh, Crypto.com, not eToro. And uh, if you use any of my affiliate links, they get between ten and twenty-five dollars. Uh, also, you can take a look at uh, which ones I recommend and don't recommend, the fees and the interest rate, and they're all pretty much laid out for that. So again, that is in the description. Looks like this, and you can click on that link and uh, go go to town. Anyhow, but it's up to you. So T Max says, following my NBA career, I've been dedicated to educating others on how to better manage their assets and ensure financial security, especially young athletes as they begin lucrative careers. And that's a great thing because he's educating people around him and also uh, new players that are going into the NBA. Hopefully you can also educate people who are in the NFL. If you don't know, uh, the NFL, National Football League, it has another name. It's called Not For Long because a lot of those athletes, they end up going broke within five years. So this I think is a great step forward and also a person in the public consciousness that can really get things out. If you don't know who Tracy McGrady is, he's played for multiple teams like the Orlando Magic and the Houston Rockets. And here's just a little, little highlight, little highlight reel to get yourself acquainted with who this guy was. McGrady, McGrady on the run, McGrady down the lane, he tucks it to the right hand. And McGrady scoring the last 13 for the Rockets. 13 points in 33 seconds. Here comes McGrady. Don't turn out McGrady for the win. Yes! Tracy McGrady with an incredible performance down the stretch. So this guy is going to be talking about cryptocurrency and digital assets. I cannot wait. Anyhow, moving down and finishing up, McGrady, McGrady added, I'm so impressed by this commission-free platform that I want my community to have the opportunity to invest smartly with Voyager like Grant and I have. And lastly, before launching his financial advisory program, Tracy was seven NBA all-star. Two-time scoring champ, over a 17-year Hall of Fame career. Pretty good. And Grant Haas is a leading business strategist and successful entrepreneur with countless exits under his belt. Currently, Tracy and Grant are partners at the Haas Portman Family Office, where their top goal is to educate players and help them make sound financial decisions. So here's my final thoughts. It's not just about educating a small group of superior athletes uh, in the NBA. It's also about the reach that they have. I mean, imagine somebody who, let's just say, it's a rookie coming out of Duke or wherever, it doesn't matter. And they have a huge following on Twitter or Instagram or Snapchat or TikTok or whatever, it doesn't matter. And they start talking about cryptocurrency digital assets, especially about Voyager, and just saying, hey, you know, uh, we can uh, invest in, in the best performing asset class for the last decade, Bitcoin, among other things that could really pop off. Just imagine, just imagine where that can go. And Tracy McGrady is a guy who's already been there and done that. So he's going to be talking to these individuals and they're going to get hooked and they're going to get involved because look, once he realizes or once he explains that these are the things you can do with cryptocurrencies and the things that you cannot do on a traditional bank, it's game over. It's game over. So I was really impressed with this article about what Voyager is doing. And I actually get reached out to Amateo. Uh, he's one of the one of the guys up there over at Voyager, and he says, "Hey, would you like Steve to come in and explain what happened?" I was like, "Sure, why not?" So this is uh, let's bring in Steve Ehrlich so he can talk about what went on behind the scenes with this whole thing, how they landed him, and also uh, let's ask him some of the hot seat questions, which are, "Hey, why can't I take uh, cryptocurrencies, digital assets, off of the exchange? There's some I can and some I can't. What's going on with the XRP airdrop? And then also, uh, what can you do as far as taxes?" So let's jump in the office. All right, everybody, welcome back uh, to the office. So just like we just talked about in that article, uh, there's a lot of things that probably went on behind the scenes that I don't know. So the special guest is Steve Ehrlich. He is the CEO from Voyager, and he's going to tell us what exactly went on because to me, this is huge. So Steve, tell us, how did you get Tracy McGrady to come on with Voyager? Well, you know, uh, make a long story short, you know, we've been looking at different avenues to help bring crypto mainstream. Uh, over the last few months. And I think I mentioned to you before when I was on with you guys is that, you know, we have a lot of athletes that use our platform, a lot of professional athletes, whether NASCAR, or UFC, MLB players, NFL. And, and I tend to start talking to them a bit. Uh, but a friend uh, of our chairman is, is partners, Grant Haas, is partners with Tracy McGrady. Um, and so we got connected to Tracy. Uh, we showed them the platform, showed everything we're trying to do to make this mass market, the 8.5% standard USDC interest. And you know, Tracy's really interested in bringing financial education to the masses and is doing a lot of work there. Uh, and this just fit in with what Tracy was doing. 
And so we had multiple calls, trying to figure out the best way to do it. You'll see some more stuff coming out over the next few days that we're working on with Tracy, but really interested in helping us get this to the masses. And we feel we're the right company with the right solution to take this to the masses because of the ease of use of the app, the interest rates, uh, the multiple coins, and just to get people into the ecosystem. And um, right guy, he's got you know he's got an impeccable reputation, NBA That's Hall right. of Famer. Yeah, uh, I I enjoyed watching him. Usually he was killing my Knicks, but uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but everybody kills the Knicks. That doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> but it was it was uh, it was really good. I mean, and we're really excited by this. Yeah, this is huge. I mean, I've always said on this channel, it is not it is not what you know, it is who you know. So connections of connections, and then all of a sudden we have somebody like this who can be a voice of reason uh, to really bring about some type of mass adoption. And when when you got a person like Tracy McGrady come in that everybody knows and is a legend is. He's one of those guys in the NBA who was really looked upon as like a favorable athlete, really nice guy. This, I think it's just huge to bring this to the masses, especially for financial literacy. So I think it's a, it's a great deal. But again, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Well, you said it, financial literacy. And I think the, the digital asset space, uh, Bitcoin and all the other coins around it, and the USDC coin, which we, we pitch a lot, is all about people gaining you know, their own financial freedom disintermediating the banks, taking control of their financial life. And we think with Tracy, we could really make some impacts here and bring this. I read something the other day, maybe 8% of all Americans have, have exposure to cryptocurrency. That means 92% of 300 million plus are, you know, so 270 million people have no exposure to this. They're missing out. And we've got to get that to that 270 million people. Yeah. And people don't realize people tell me that when I say we're early, they don't realize how early we are. I say you can walk on the street and talk about Bitcoin. People are like, oh, I know what that is. And then, OK, we'll talk about Ethereum, talk about XRP, talk about yep. Polkadot. They have no idea. We are so early. And this is we'll just catapult us, uh, you know, hopefully into the future. Yeah, right. we're excited. Yeah, I'm excited after this story. So, hey, thanks for doing, <laughs> thanks for doing no good work. So I can't let you off the hook without asking you some questions from the subscribers because, you know, hey, we're just looking out for. Who's working for us? Steve's working for us. All right, Steve. So here's what we got. Let me first of all share my screen so we know what the heck I'm talking about here. And it's a it's a uh, just a hodgepodge of different things, and a lot of them uh, really comes down to this: When are we going to be able to uh, move coins from the app? That's the first one. When are we going to move coins from the app? I'm trying to get them off. Or I I went from Kraken now to Uphold. Uh, I can't leave Uphold, but Voyager, what's going on with that? Uh, would love to use Celsius to make interest, but having trouble moving any assets from Coinbase to Celsius. I'll deal with that. Also, I need to sell all my DOT and Voyager and put this on Kraken to enjoy the APR because we can't get that. I can't move them. And then same thing, uh, staking on Kraken right now, had the account for a while. API Y for DOT was too resistible. So Steve, it's the same thing that... Uh, uh, we had talked about before what's going on with getting these coins off of uh, Voyager. Yeah, it's, it's uh, one of the top things that people ask us is when are you adding more coins for the withdrawal and deposits? Uh, so I'll deal with that one first. We're working hard at that. You know, each one uh, winds up being its own protocol. It takes some time to do that. We have a team working on writing to all those protocols and. You got to knock them off one by one. Uh, so we'll, you're going to see more out of us on that side uh, over the next month or so. Uh, it is high, if not top of our priority food chain to do that, especially XRP with the airdrop. Uh, we're working on that to make sure that's accessible for everybody and take part in the airdrop. We know it's the priority. We know more people want to bring coins to us. They want to take part in some of the interest on some of the coins that we offer interest, but we don't offer crypto deposits on yet. So we're working really hard at that. Um, we understand it's a little weakness that we have, but, uh, you know, bear with us while we're trying to add more on that, uh, that front on the polka dot side, you'll see some stuff out of us as well in the next couple of weeks, uh, where, you know, potentially we could be staking it on your behalf and you could start taking part in the interest, uh, with us on that. Uh, we're working on that too, and it shouldn't be that far off for us to do something of that nature as well. Uh, testing it, we're in testing on some of that stuff, uh. So you can hold them with us. We'll stake on your behalf, just like you do on most places that you become part of the staking pool. So that's being worked on as well. And, you know, our job is to bring more of these coins so you can deposit, earn interest, stake. We'll do that for you. All that to make people create more wealth, right? Take part in the ecosystem. 
And these are our top priorities to, to, to get that through. So uh, between the XRP, crypto deposits, withdrawals for more coins, and the, and the polka dot staking, which you know is similar to interest, we're working on all days. And I think you will see some stuff out of us within definitely by Thanksgiving, I can tell you that. Okay. So we got, what is it, October 19th? We'll give yep. you till November 30, 31st, whichever one it is. I you appreciate got, that. You got time. You give me a few extra days. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. look, look, okay, I appreciate that. And then this will go back to, so we talked about the coins, same thing with XRP going on. And then of course, the same thing with the airdrop. Uh, you said that it's, yep. it, we can look at, because I think the airdrop's going to happen, I want to say is November 15th? Somewhere around there. It's, it's coming it November up, or December. I'm, no, I, no, I, I, no, it's December. You're right. Yeah, I think it's December. I'm pretty so, sure it's December. So, so we should have everything in place on Voyager to get hit. That's that our goal. Okay, that's our goal. Yep. Well, we will hold you to it. How about that? And then that's fine. And then uh, last question was it was a pretty good one with your connections at Voyager. They're talking to me. Uh, I, 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 the, the only people I know at Voyager is the CEO. Uh, could you ask when they will enable the API plugin for tax software? So I, I know with mine, I use CryptoTrader.tax, but yep. to do that, we have to download the CSV and then stick it in there. Is there an API coming in place, especially for next year? On the, that's another one on the roadmap. We're looking at it. I can't guarantee anything on that front. Uh, I do know, as you said, we could send CSV files to, we could, we could help people with some of that stuff too. We do have a partnership with Silver Asset Management as well and they can help us prepare some tax stuff for people we always say to people if you need help on the tax you need some information uh reach out to our service team they're really responsive we'll get you files that you need you may have to upload them but we'll look at the api plugin no guarantees but you know we, we try to help everywhere we can on taxes sounds good well i like customer service which is way better than some other ones out there who will remain nameless so lastly i will just say this i just want everybody to remember that there is no perfect exchange or brokerage. There's nothing that uh, you know can be like 100%. Uh, we're all going through growing pains, and I think Voyager is one of those places. However, having said all that, I want to remind you who Steve is. So this was a tweet that he sent out, and this was on October 15th. He says, send me a DM, happy to learn more. And I've had other people contact me via DM, go, hey, I'm having a problem with Voyager. Can you help me out? I'm like, I can't do nothing. But if you just tweet to, if you, if you just tweet to Steve, he'll help you out. And sure enough, and I put this out on a true 15th and you actually answered questions. So I can only tell you it is a rarity to see that actually happen. So just remember who you're dealing with when you're putting or investing your cryptocurrency and hard-earned money. That's all I'll say. I appreciate those, those, those kind words. I mean, look, I think you and I have spoken about this numerous times. It's important for me uh, to understand the demands of the customers, issues they have. We get better by it. You know, I, I have a saying that says you don't get better by praise you get better by you know the constructive criticism on how you could become better um and that's you know that's just been ingrained in our dna and we'll continue to do that and i'll continue to answer tweets and telegram channels and dms and everything i can to make sure the customer is comfortable with with using voyager and our team great well steve hey thanks so much for stopping by i appreciate it if you're looking for the uh, link it's in the description below and then uh that is it all right, man. I appreciate it. Right, and then have a great day. Good luck on the, with the Giants, but uh, no, no, no uh, guarantees no, there. <laughs> so. Have a good one. Peace, Steve. Right. Hope you liked that one. That was pretty good. Thanks, Steve, for coming on. Last up, $46 million with the shorts liquidated as Bitcoin touches 11.8. So what's going on? Well, crypto is now down only 6.4%. From its 2020 high of roughly 12.5. The lion's share of all liquidations occur on the Binance Exchange, <laughs> shocker, 29%, followed by embattled OKX. And this is a nice little, little chart to see how many people just lost their shorts in the shorts. The cryptocurrency has now completely recovered after OKX indefinitely halted withdrawals, which tanked Bitcoin nearly 11.2 due to an ongoing police investigation. And this was written, I think, today. Yeah, today. So I'm going to have to ask you, if anybody has an account with OKX, put in the comments if you're still able to, uh, or actually able to take anything out, because that would be interesting to me. And lastly, cryptocurrency is now completely recovered. So finishing up, the U.S. equities market is also under pressure today. Both the S&P 500 and the Dow are in the red as uncertainty, uncertainly, uncertainty, around the stimulus deal continues to linger. If you don't know, the U.S. is uh, playing political football with the stimulus package, which a lot of people definitely need. So hopefully Congress can get their act together 
and actually put out some money uh, and not give it away to all the banks and big corporations who really don't need it. And if that happens, uh, you'll see a nice little spike in uh, traditional market as well as uh, cryptocurrency and digital assets. I truly believe that, just like last time. And then lastly, it says, while bulls, bulls and bears continue to play tug of war, Bitcoin's fundamentals look stronger than ever with both hash rate and difficulty recently reaching new all-time highs. So anyhow, if you were one of those uh, traders that got uh, liquidated today, let me know if you got wrecked. It does happen. Uh, trading, look, I've changed my my view a little bit on trading. I think, you know, if you do a little bit of trading, it's fine. You know, go right ahead, have fun. Um, I'm just not one of those people who says, hey, go out there and, you know, trade everything away and, uh, you know, do 100% of that. And also, uh, you know, leverage yourself 50 to 100x. I'm just, I'll never, ever say that. But a little bit of trading, hey, it does happen. And, and, and it can be can be fun. I just probably won't do it. I'm just an investor. I'm very boring, dollar cost average. So uh, that's it for today. So thanks for sticking with me. Well, before we take off, just want to give a random shout out to all the people who have joined up. Really appreciate everybody who's joined up to Digital Asset News, such as David, Dr. Rusk, Brian Pryor, Eric Hoover, who is also our big winner for the Kobo Wallet. I'm not a fan of Kobo Wallet. I just did a review. I thought it wasn't that great, but what are you going to do? Frank S., Stone Crypt, Chelsea McChain, McShane, Reginald Halasinski, I think I nailed it, uh, Lincoln, Lincoln, Six Echo, K. Newman, I Am Not I, and uh, Noel Flippin' Vegas. So, Everybody, uh, thanks for uh, watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. If you like those types of videos, there's going to be two more that's going to pop up on your left and right. And uh, YouTube usually controls all that stuff. So I'll let them do their thing. And that is it for today. So uh, again, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. We got some pretty cool stuff on the back of this coming over the next two months. I was on Twitter today. People asking us about Ripple and, and deposits withdrawals on Ripple. That's coming. Um, so that's definitely, and, and I think some of your, I listened to some of your, some people, you know, it's, it's you know, and, and the, uh, airdrop and so forth. So yeah, that's coming, but we got some other stuff that, 